Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Yasmin Gonchas. Welcome to our first episode for the month of March. Yup, March. Sure feels like spring out there, doesn't it? And I'm Guillermina Rodriguez. We have plenty of announcements to take up our, morning, our time this morning, so let's dive right in. To start, please donate to Pennies to Patients in your advisory today. Today is the final day to make donations, so be sure to drop off your change in advisory before the end of the day. Another important reminder for all students is the upcoming testing weeks that will be adjusting our school day schedule. On Wednesday, March 15th and Thursday, March 16th, Wednesday, April 5th and Thursday, April 6th, the bell schedule will be a block period schedule. Those days will be the same as a Monday and Tuesday schedule. This change is due to our testing window that begins on March 13th. From our Future Planning Center, the PHS Local Scholarship application is now available and is due Monday, April 10th to the Future Planning Center. You can download the scholarship application from the Phoenix High School website. See Ms. House if you have any questions. On Friday, March 17th, a representative from Simpson University will be here to talk about what their college has to offer. Simpson University is a small Christian university in Redding, California that is well known for its music and education programs. See Ms. House in the Future Planning Center to sign up. Do you need help with math or science? or want to get help studying for a test? TRIO has a new tutor from Rogue Community College who can help all students welcome to participate. Come to the Diploma Center, Mrs. Pond's classroom, on Tuesday and Thursday during ASAP from 325 to 430 and ask for Neary. The TRIO program has openings for 9th and 10th grade students who have the desire to attend college and would like to learn about major scholarships, financial aid, and take field trips to tour Oregon colleges. If neither of your parents have a four-year degree and you have a minimum GPA of 2.5, then you could qualify. Stop by and see Sonia Lomax in the Future Planning Center for more details. Seniors who speak Spanish. If you missed the fall proficiency test, this is your last chance to earn credits. You must sign up with Mrs. Hansen or Ms. Wright by Wednesday, March 8th. The test is on Friday, March 10th. Space Space is limited and we will not accept any late signups. See Mrs. Hansen or Ms. Wright for more information or to sign up. Also, speaking of seniors, if you haven't placed your graduation order yet, now is the time. Go to jostensoregon.com to place your order. Did you miss the last book club? Have you been kicking yourself ever since? Well, lucky you. You have another chance. This month's selection is Gabby, a girl in pieces. Follow Gabby Hernandez as she chronicles the last year in high school, juggling college applications, her strict mom, her father's meth addiction, the pregnancy and the coming out of her two best friends, cute boys, and her discovery of poetry writing as a coping mechanism. Check out the book from the PHS library, then come to give your two cents about it in the library conference room on Monday, March 20th at 3.30. Seniors, if you have yet to turn in a senior picture for the yearbook, the deadline has passed. You can still turn in your senior picture, just be aware of the $35 late fee. If you still need to turn in a senior picture for the yearbook, please come talk to Mr. Rhodes. And speaking of senior pictures, we are in need of senior baby pictures for the senior video. The deadline for submitting baby pictures will be Friday, April 7th. To help encourage you to get those baby pictures turned in, myself and Astrid Ernesto made a segment for you. Let's roll it. Attention seniors, baby pictures are due April 7th. Make sure to email your baby pictures to phoenixhsyearbook at gmail.com or put them in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Be sure to turn those baby pictures in by April 7th. ScienceWorks Hands-On Museum is now accepting applications for their 2017 ScienceWorks Summer Internship Program. If you are interested, the application deadline is on Friday, April 28th. This is a 50-hour internship for students ages 14 to 18 designed to teach students how to apply and interview for a job, teach management strategies and responsibility while working with K through fifth grade summer campers. To learn more about this great opportunity, you can talk to Ms. House in the Future Planning Center. Students involved with peer mediation, trainings are still going on. Make sure to listen for the announcements or see Mr. Cornett for more details. Ms. Pond in the Diploma Center is set up for students who are interested in earning a food handler's permit. The cost is $10 and you pay at the front office and bring your receipt to Mrs. Pond in room N105. 
Use the computer to do the online training for the Oregon Food Handlers Card. This card can help you gain employment in the food service industry. Talk to Ms. Pond in room N105 for more questions. Kalina Kerr Ruthers, Felicity Counts, Emily Weaver, Emily Johnson, and Taylor Roy all competed at the SOM. EA solo vocalist vocal contest this past weekend and did an amazing job. They represented our PHS vocal program with dignity and poise. Great job solo vocal contestants. Also, Phoenix High School recently competed in a national qualifying debate tournament at Grants Pass High School. Evan Schweiker and Noah Thompson both competed in a big question debate. Noah made it to quarterfinals in debate and performed remarkably. Evan Schweiker placed third in debate and performed remarkably as well. Great job Phoenix speech and debate. Speaking of amazing student performances, we have some students who are representing our FFA program at leadership and public speaking events who we want to congratulate. At the district leadership contest in advanced public speaking, Madison Dodd got fourth place. In sophomore public speaking, Kazis Kuykendall and Madison Colbert received fourth place. In creed public speaking, Colt Morris competed and did a great job while in job interview, and Madison Dodd won first place. In parliamentary procedure, Rachel Carr, Austin Voss, Elise Morris, McKenna Page, Haley Bowman, and Madison Colbert all competed and did great. Another group of students who are really worth supporting are our pirate band members. Next Friday, March 17th, our PHS band program will be holding their spring concert. PHTV's own Albert Funes and Joshua Devon made a segment to get you ready for this event. Let's check it out. Spring Band Concert. The Spring Band Concert will be on Friday, March 17th in the Big Gym. Come listen to our concert band, symphonic band, and the jazz band. Show starts at 6.30 p.m. See you there. Moving from, from one great group of student artists to another, the, the month of March is Theater in Our Schools Month. If you would like to find out more about our theater arts program or how to participate in Theater in Our Schools Month, check out the website schooltheater.org or see Mrs. Brown for more information. Also, all my future My Choice members, be ready for your first lesson at TMS this Wednesday. Prom is getting near and seniors are invited to participate in the final prom poster photo shoot after school this Friday, March 10th from 4 to 5.30. Meet Ms. Rollins in the PHS Commons. Show up ready to go. Girls should dress in formal and fancy wear and boys can wear slacks, dress shoes, and a button-down shirt. This opportunity is for any senior who is willing to have fun, have a positive attitude, and, col and collaborate. If you're interested, please sign up at the front office or in... Miss Brown's classroom, or Miss Brian's classroom, as 305A. Winter sports has wrapped up for the year, and spring sports don't start competitions till later this month, so we have no score report for you. Our new track coach, Mr. Cornett, does want to remind students that it's not too late to sign up for track. If you are interested in joining the track team, see Mr. Cornett as soon as possible. All right, all we have left is trivia for today's show. Last week's question was, what place did Phoenix High equestrian pair of Riley Hayes and Ashley Day get at their most recent competition. And the winner is... Uh, Leticia Mesa. Congrats, you said third place. See Mr. Rhodes to pick up your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is which teacher should you talk to about earning your food handler's permit? Please write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Be sure and check out our online platform, phtvnews.com. And as always, stick around for the pledge. This has been your school, your people, and your, and your news. news. Enough to
to chill my bones It feels like I don't know you anymore 